Hey guys, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, then welcome. Today I will be doing a review on Chevalier by Brie M. Lewandowski. This book was sent to me by the author in exchange for a review. So thank you so much, Brie, for sending this to me. I'm so glad I got the chance to read it. So I'm going to start this off how I usually do my reviews, and we're going to go straight into the synopsis. And I'm actually going to read the synopsis off of Goodreads because this is actually a really good synopsis. So this is directly from Goodreads. Let's just read it. Lia Moran has been scorned and taunted her entire life due to her abnormalities. After the humiliation of being abandoned at the altar, she humbly accepts the unexpected marriage proposal to the king's visor, Cole. Her heart still fluttered each time she fondly remembered their first and only dance together. Seeking safety for his wife after learning of impending war, they journey through the forests and mountain caves until Cole is mortally wounded. Lina turns to the Nightingale Queen and her gift of healing for help, but is unaware of the damage past the Nightingale Queen and her husband share. Secrets are exposed and loyalties shift in the shifting tale of love and war. So that was a condensed version of the synopsis, since it's a little long for a video. But of course, I will leave a link to this book on Goodreads so you can read the full synopsis for yourself. Okay, so let's get into the characters. And we're going to talk about our two main characters. First, there is Lina. I really liked her. The reason I really love this character is that she had a few deformities, which I think was really cool because you don't see a lot of characters who really have deformities, especially main characters. So I really love that. It made her a very complex and diverse character. She is a very fragile girl, but throughout this entire book, especially towards the end, you really see her grow stronger. And I just loved seeing that. I definitely feel like she went through quite a bit of great character development throughout this entire book. And then there is Cole, who is the love interest that decides to marry her since she was stood up at the altar. So he's kind of put in as a replacement, but that doesn't take away the fact that he really cares about her. He is super protective of her, which I thought was sweet, and he was really caring and just really romantic. I really love seeing how he interacted with Lina because you could totally tell that he cared for her so much. I don't feel like the book went too much into the side characters, but I kind of look past that because this book is only like 150-ish pages. It's super short. It basically counts as like a novella. So there wasn't a lot of room to go into a lot of the side characters, but we really just focused on the two main characters. But because it's such a short story, I can let it slide. Now my thoughts on the plot. This plot to me felt exactly like I was reading a fairy tale or a Disney movie because it is a fantasy novel but it's pretty much a romantic fantasy so it really felt like I was reading a fairy tale. Like I feel like this book could be its own fairy tale which I thought was really cool. Aside from the romance there was a ton of adventure. This can also read as a great adventure story. The only thing I had a little problem with, and this is me personally, this book had quite a bit of politics in it, and I am just someone who just can't read politics because it goes so over my head. Even in real life, I can't, I can barely understand politics. So because there was so much political stuff coming up in this book often, it was a little hard for me to get into, and that was the main focus at the beginning of the book, so I struggled just a little to get into the book, but once the romance started to get introduced and the adventure started, like, I was gripped. Speaking of the romance, I thought it was pretty well developed, especially for a short story. Even though these characters kind of grow to love each other, like, really soon, it might kind of seem like insta-love, but due to the fact that these characters knew each other before the story, it didn't feel too insta-lovey for me. I really felt their connection right from the get-go, and I fell in love with their relationship regardless of how soon it seemed it started, because really, to me, it felt like it had already started, because these characters met... A few years before, and speaking of which, I loved the backstory behind when they first met. You gotta read it to find out. It is so cute. Now, getting into my favorite part about this book, the writing. Oh my gosh, I was taken aback by how beautifully written this book is. Bree's writing really flows so beautifully. She uses a lot of eloquent words. She's really great at describing characters and places. 
I just really loved her writing. Her writing is how I aspire my writing to be, even though I know I can never be that good. I felt like the way she wrote this was just really really unique and she is such an inspiration to me because I love her writing so much and I hope that I could write that good someday even though I probably will never will. So I rated this book a 4 out of 5 stars. I really really liked it. If you are into fantasy, short stories, novellas, I recommend to try out this book since it is short you can get through it really quickly. I know I did. I finished it in like two or three days so it's very easy to fly through very enjoyable and I would highly recommend it so thank you guys so much for watching this review I hope I moved you to pick up this book if you like this video be sure to like comment and subscribe down below for more bookish related videos and book reviews